Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was born in 1756 in Salzburg, Austria. A wee lad, destined for music, he started writing minuets when he was four years old, and by the age of six was considered a musical prodigy all throughout Europe. He grew up to be a classical composer, and was considered to be one of the most talented people in Western music, and eventually wrote over 600 works. Mozart eventually passed away in 1791, but his music still lives on today. Kids these days are still watching Mozart after all these years with tens of millions of views on the YouTubes, and some even make remixes. But another way that Mozart's music is still used today is a bit interesting. It's a theory that by just listening to his music, it can actually help cure illnesses. It's called the Mozart Effect. The idea of the Mozart effect was based on experiments done in the 1990s. Researchers found that listening to Mozart improved people's scores at spatial IQ tests. And it's not just humans. Rats also seem to get smarter when listening to Mozart. Thank you, sir. You summed that up quite nicely. 1993 was when researchers first used the Mozart effect. A group of students listened to Mozart's Sonata for two pianos in D major. For 10 minutes and appeared to have better spatial reasoning skills. This had an impact on Georgia for sure, because on January 13, 1998, the governor of Georgia, Zell Miller, announced that a state budget would include $105,000 a year to provide every child born in Georgia with a CD of classical music. That's a turning point. It impacts the world today, or at least in Florida, because there it's now the law that all childcare facilities receiving state aid include at least half an hour of Mozart every day. The Mozart effect is also being used with epilepsy. April 2001. John Jenkins of the Journal of the Royal Society of Medicine played Sonata K448 to patients with epilepsy and found a decrease in epileptic activity.